All right, a big welcome back to all you Technivores. Once again, I am Technivorous. So for those of you who saw my last video on Kira 4.4 and may or may not have been a little disappointed that there weren't intent profiles for you, I have taken the liberty of scouring each of the individual profiles for their unique settings and kind of filtering them over to the Ender 3. So I have created my own intent profiles for not only the visual, but the engineering and draft intent profiles as well. That will work with your Ender 3. Real quick though, let's discuss some of the settings that I found that were different in each of these profiles. Specifically, the speeds had big factors um, in each profile. They were drastically different. The visual was uh, range between about 70 and 25, depending on what part of the model it was printing, while the engineering was at about 30 millimeters per second, and the draft was at about 70 millimeters per second across the board. So uh, infill density was also different. You would expect that. It leads to different printing times. Other than that, the majority of the differences come from the layer height, which is obviously a lower height on the visual and engineering and a little bit higher on the draft. Uh, they do have different layer height settings for the prints and I did scour through a couple of them, um, but even through the different layer heights for say the engineering profile, the rest of these settings were virtually the same. So uh, infill density, as I said, skin removal width played a big part in all of them. Infill line distance, you have your skin overlap percentage and your skin overlap were different in all of them by varying degrees, which I tried to replicate in the profiles that I've made for you. Um, the infill line width was different as well as the wall line width and they all have different numbers of top and bottom layers so um, while they do all have the same number of shells except the draft profile the visual and engineering profile are almost identical except for the speeds and a few minute measurements in some of the smaller details such as skin removal width. Now behind me here you can see I'm already printing one of these models. This is going to be done with the visual profile. I am printing just a little coupler model. I will also print with the engineering and draft profiles as well. But while we are on the subject, let's talk about time. So this model that I'm printing, the visual model, was right in between the other two models on speed. It was an hour and ten minutes and it's going to use about four grams. With the engineering profile, the same model is taking an hour and 15 minutes and using about 5 grams. Uh, using the draft profile, which has a higher layer height and some lower infill density and other settings like that, it only takes 42 minutes, which is a drastic improvement over the other two, um, but the, you get reduced visual quality and, and easier to see layer lines, uh, and it's taking about 4 grams. So we'll let these print out. We'll compare them real quick and I'll make sure you guys get a link to where you can download the profiles to try them out for yourself. All right, let's discuss. So this is our draft model. As you can see, the skin is two layers thin on the profile, so it is a little too thin. So it looks like there's a little under extrusion there. Uh, that's actually typical of something you'd see from a clog nozzle, so I'll go ahead and go in there and adjust that. Um, you might want to adjust it to four even, but I'm going to just put it at three. Um, other than that though, I mean, this is perfect for draft quality. It was pretty quick. It took about half the time of the other two and it's functional. It was pretty stiff and hard to break apart when I went to snap it. Um, but now it turns pretty freely. Uh, this here was the engineering version. Let's see if we can get a little closer up, see if I can focus here. So you can't really tell too much difference between this one and this one um, until you come around to the front here and we'll actually flip the faces up to get the light to show you what I'm talking about. Now this is the engineering version which is pretty pretty much perfect um, but if you look there are a couple flaws with this inner circle here. Um, you can actually see them a little better from far away that little nub there and at the top. Uh, this is the visual version and it is very smooth all over. It is a very nice model, it moves freely. Um, you can't see the layer lines very well in this model, which is a good thing, as opposed to this model where this is the draft version, you can clearly see the layer lines. So there you have it. 
a draft engineering and visual profile for your Ender, um, the intent profiles for Kira 4.4. And as promised, here is that link. We'll put it right up top there. Go ahead and check the profiles out. Download them for yourself. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, you want to see future videos like it, don't forget to hit that like button because we always appreciate that. And feel free to check me out on Patreon. It's pretty easy to find. It's patreon.com slash technivorous. We are always looking for supporters for the channel. So, yeah, thanks for checking it out, guys. Stay tuned for more great videos, and we'll see you soon. And as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.